there and welcome to the Big Apple Scroll Podcast. My name is Sam. And I'm Reino. Hey, and so Sam from Northern Ireland, Reino from South Africa. Take we're, on. we're here again to talk about something else today. We're asking what's the crack about summer activities. So we're going to think of, in general about what you can do in the summer, what people normally do in the summer, uh, what we might eat or drink, uh, where we will go in our days off, uh, the kind of places we visit and enjoy, and a little bit of our opinions on what we should and shouldn't do. Okay, are you sitting comfortably right I'm now? I'm very comfortable. Thank very you very much. Are you comfortable? I, I am. Good. Yeah. Where do you, or where did you normally spend your summers growing up? Oh yeah, summers in South Africa are quite hot, so we spent a lot of time outside riding bicycles, playing the river. I was mm. lucky to grow up in a small town. Um, things were very safe and nice, we spent- Nice clean a, river or? Yes, actually, yeah. very clean, yeah. yes. And it would flood every two or three years, it would flood yeah. parts of yeah. the town. But yes, it was great <laughs> fun to play there. Yeah. And you? Um, I, summertime in the UK, uh, you'll get rain. All like, the time. Like, like every season <laughs> you'll have time. rain. But I, I remember plenty of sunny days too, and um, I would have went out. I grew up in a housing estate, mm-hmm. um, kind of mm, not not a very, how would I say, not a very expensive area to live, let's say, um, but but comfortable, pleasant. I, I enjoyed my youth there and uh, on the bike. Mm-hmm. I was on the bike a lot. I had a few adventures with nettles, mm-hmm. uh, these stinging plants they're lovely fantastic Uh, (laughs) we we have them in south africa too it was very entertaining you would burn for a couple of hours afterwards yeah Yeah, very good when you say a couple of sunny days maybe two per Uh, year or or, (laughs) yeah that's about three three. (laughs) maybe three (laughs) maybe Maybe three three. okay that was a good year stretch to four okay excellent um here's an interesting question Mm. um sometimes um watching it's it's about america right we're we're not from america but I don't um, know much about America. Some but. people spend, uh, if you believe American TV shows and, and children's programs, they spend a bit of time catching fireflies. Mm-hmm. Is that popular where mm-hmm. you're from? <laughs> no. I never caught no, a firefly in my life. But no. Do they have them? Though? Yes, they yeah. exist very much. Huge wildlife in South Africa. Yeah. Um, listen to our previous podcast. But no, not where, not where I was growing up. It was yeah. more... Town, not really village, more town, so not quite city. They don't live in the towns? Yes, they weren't all that okay. fond of town life, I think, the yeah. fireflies. They, maybe it was a little bit too busy for them. Are they big? I have never, I have I've never seen. ever seen one. No, actually, I don't think they are very big. They're about the size right. of a, mm. a big ant, yeah. I think. I think I could be very yeah. wrong. Yeah, yeah. Um, does anyone catch them? Don't know. I in, don't in know South anyone. Africa? So, I don't know anyone who's yeah. caught a firefly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, w- I wonder what an, an American person... If you're an American person listen to this by any chance, you can comment below about fireflies. Do you catch them? <laughs> uh, so back about summer activities, maybe more normal ones. Mm-hmm. I have a little list here for you, Reino. Mm-hmm. And I want you to tell me what you think. Mm-hmm. Um, first of all, iced tea or no. ice cream based coffee? Yeah. Ice cream based coffee, absolutely. Yeah. I am a coffee holic. Uh-huh. Um, it's a wonderful thing at Big Apple. I can have as much coffee as I want to every day. Uh-huh. So I think I'm doing works you, at a loss. That's sometimes. why you've got big eyes. Absolutely. And... I'm always awake. That's why I'm always <laughs> awake. I sleep badly. But I love coffee, cold or hot. Uh-huh. But I don't eat chocolate with coffee okay. flavor at all. Okay. But coffee, ice cream, coffee, oh, coffee, like coffee milkshake. So you're, Fantastic. You're thinking vanilla ice cream, yes. caramel? No. No caramel. So you're not a big fan of having sweet things in your coffee. Is that I know. I do right? have sweet things in my coffee sometimes, but I prefer the sweet things to be ice cream. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh-huh. I'm going to. Okay. Yes, that's very good. I enjoy iced coffee. I had a lovely, uh, somewhere here in Novosibirsk, uh-huh. I had a lovely uh, ice cream coffee type thing. Uh, in I think it was maybe Traveler's Coffee or maybe uh-huh. maybe it was another one, but it was fantastic. I was oh it was Italiano or something. It was called I can't remember. Uh-huh. I have never had it again, 
but it was fantastic. I think if it's Italian based, it's on based on their dessert, and now I have forgotten the name, but they do affogato. Affogato, I think, yeah. is the correct name. Delicious. Where they serve espresso over ice cream. Uh-huh. They pour it over ice right. cream, so you get this Something wonderful like, hot cold fantastic. mix. Yes, I'm also an, a, a coffee guy. Mm-hmm. And I don't. We both sing yeah, with cups yeah. of coffee. So no, yes, no tea for me. I mean, I, I drink. I can drink it, but I won't choose to drink it. I've gotten know. in the habit with with living in Russia. I have gotten into the habit of having tea in the morning. Yeah. Because I had a Nespresso machine in my house in mm-hmm. South Africa, so mm-hmm. I always had morning coffee. But I've gotten into the habit of drinking tea. I still don't love it. Yeah. But I. But you just drink. I it. have it. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if it's uh, ice cream, coffee. Is it something that you th- you associate with summer? No, it's just coffee. <laughs> it's so <laughs> no. Um <laughs> But it's better to have in summer, of course, when yeah. it's hot. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Uh, visiting the beach. Not a big fan. The beach. Not. Yes. Be careful beach. with the pronunciation. Yes. <laughs> I, I see you I, are stretching the I, sound so that people don't get confused. That idea didn't occur to me, but now that you mention it, yes. it, 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 it's, it is as with quite a few words in mm-hmm. English, the the pronunciation Mine. of beach is Minor quite important. Differences, yes. major Minor differences, major problems. problems. Major, <laughs> major differences, major problems, maybe. Um, so no, beach for me, not something I enjoy. I don't enjoy the sand everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, I find it quite frustrating, actually, okay. to just lie. Yeah. Like it, all these people who sit or lie and sunbathe for hours until they are chocolate brown. It's not, it's not organized enough for you, the beach. It's, all these little grains. There's grains. <laughs> there are too many of them. Uh-huh. There are too many of them. You are stuck with them for days afterwards in your ears, in your nose, under your nails. No, yeah. I, I, I don't enjoy going to the beach. <laughs> maybe a walk on the beach. Yeah. Um, feet in the water, maybe. Uh-huh. Um, but for me, a, a beach paddle. holiday, no. For me, a beach holiday is not I ideal. I can say that uh, growing up, I wasn't keen, um, but I think as I've matured, let's say, I, I become <laughs> gotten I've, older. I've, Sam, I've I've come to appreciate. No, I haven't gotten older. I've, oh, okay. I've matured. Okay, okay. Like just a, your like arms a banana. Are okay, I'm a black banana now. All right, cool. Um, but but that uh, good red wine sounds much better than uh, a black banana. A good, a good red wine. Good red wine. Uh, but now I've come to appreciate the you know a little paddle. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't love bright sunlight. I mean, this mm. is, and there's not a lot of, there isn't a lot of it in Northern Ireland, but a, a nice pair of sunglasses mm-hmm. solves that problem. Oh, I, I've come to appreciate a beach. I enjoy the sunsets. When I lived in Cape Town, it was mm-hmm. one of the, it's one of the selling points of Cape Town is the incredible sunsets that mm-hmm. you get over the um, Atlantic Ocean. Yeah. It, 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 it's, it's breathtaking. The Atlantic. So, yeah. The Atlantic. Uh, um, we also the, have the Atlantic. I'm yes, mistaken. you do. No, no, you're correct. It's That's so also, far away and yet, yes, and yet so huge. near. <laughs> yes, yeah. it's huge. So I appreciate things like that, sunrise mm-hmm. and sunset on the beach because the sound of the waves and yeah. the sunrise or set. But that's... Yeah, as far that's as your I, limit. Yeah, yeah that's my limit. Okay. Mm-hmm. You go down in the car maybe and, and sit in the car with a blanket around you? No, I'm happy to sit <laughs> on the sand. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> you see what I'm painting no, no, the, the picture there? I see what you're doing there. Hiking and exploring. What? what? It's, it's what I do. Uh, yeah. When I travel, when I yeah. go somewhere, it's, it's what I... Mm-hmm. Hiking, not really in the actual hiking so sense when, of going... Yeah. When we're saying on, say, a, when I on think a 50 hiking, kilometer I think, trail with right. a backpack and water, yeah, yeah. maybe not to that extent, no, yeah, but yeah. I'm very happy, especially when I travel, to have a small backpack with a bottle of water mm-hmm. and maybe some snacks when I in, um, explore the city mm-hmm. or yeah, yeah. the country around, countryside yeah. around I the city where I'm at. They're yes. kind of like, like two types of people mm-hmm. uh, when it comes to holidays in the summer. I think uh, there are city trip people yep. and there are beach people. Yep. I mean, there can be a little bit of an overlap, of course, but I think you, I, I mean, though I appreciate the beach, I'm a city trip. Yeah, I'm, I'm a city, city trip boy. guy. <laughs> and um, I like to visit a city and learn more and maybe go to bookshops. I end up going to bookshops too. Mm-hmm. But, I, but I like to see, I mean, a bit of the geography and mm. uh, architecture and all that stuff. Hiking. Mm. Uh, it's, yeah. I, I love hiking, but in the summer, probably a bit too hot for me. 
to hike a lot. Ooh, I think the true the true hiking fanatics or true hikers would say to you any time is good oh. to hike. For yeah. me, I, I personally don't enjoy being all hot and sweaty and sticky. Mm-hmm. And especially if there's no real amenities where you can wash yourself at the end mm-hmm. of the day. Yeah. Um, freshen up. Where you can freshen up a little <laughs> bit. Yes. Yeah. So hiking for me, mm, not so much, but it's, it's a lot of walking. I always prefer to do it. In, in my um, region, there are lovely mountains, which I've talked about previously in the Northern Ireland podcast, and they are fantastic, not too big. And, but for me, it's better spring and autumn. Yes. Because it's cooler. Yes. I mean, the summers aren't necessarily too hot, but it's cooler spring, autumn, and there are less people. Mm. And for me, it, it makes the experience better because mm-hmm. you're, you're just in, you're just looking at the nature, yep. looking at the landscape, and you're not, um, you're not being distracted by others. So it's for me, it's better. Mm-hmm. A little bit close to that is camping. How do you feel about camping? <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel about camping. You did no. Never done it. No. I Never mean, ever. No. Once in my life, and it was the first and the last time yeah. I ever did it. Probably, <laughs> probably, if I have to say, my worst. Holiday where, experience. I where were you it. camping? Or is that it relevant? was. It, it was in South Africa. Beautiful, yeah. um, natural beach. So it's not a oh, beach close camped to. Camped on the beach, and you hate beaches. <laughs> <laughs> the camping was not on, uh, on the beach, but mm. it was. It's it's sort of a protected beach. So uh, there's no building anywhere right. near it. There yeah, is yeah. a very um, elementary campsite. Very, uh-huh. ele- very, very basic. Right. So you could camp and you could have a tent, but that's it. There were no yeah. buildings. Um, there were showers and toilets, fortunately. Uh-huh. But I, I just, I did it once. I was about yeah. 20, what so about, old enough to understand yeah, whether yeah. I liked something or not. And what I don't, about it's not comfortable for me. What about it didn't you like? I want to, if it's really hot, go somewhere where I can sit and cool down. Uh-huh. And yeah, you have to go to under a tree, and it's not quite the same uh, as an air conditioned hotel room. But okay, <laughs> I don't know. I, I think I, I don't like the uncomfortableness. For me, yeah. I enjoy cooking. You're missing out on the na- the normal everyday what luxuries that you don't. Not necessarily luxuries, but I enjoy cooking. Um, yeah, I enjoy going yeah. to a coffee shop. I enjoy yeah. going to a good restaurant, and for me, that summer or winter actually yeah if i'm on holiday somewhere it, it it's something to do so summer yeah. activities i still would prefer um walking around in the city exploring the city yeah and then going to a coffee shop and having something cool to drink or a cup of coffee mm-hmm. just cool down a little bit again yeah uh, so camping no thanks unless you no. can do it with air conditioning in your tent near a shop we have those in south <laughs> africa yeah five star um safari <laughs> trips uh-huh. Those tents are like a five-star hotel room. Right. Electricity, running water, hot and uh, cold, um, breakfast served, lunch served, uh, dinner served, uh-huh. animals walking past your <laughs> tent, literally outside your... Does right. a tent have a front door? I don't know, but these, I think, have a flap. Flaps, yeah, yeah. Um, Let's call so it, it, the so it is there, but the cost of yeah. those holidays... Not no. so cheap. No, no, not I, so about two years' salary. Let me tell you about my camp. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my my camp and experience. <coughs> my parents uh, brought us up camping. Basically, I mean, mm-hmm. um, is it common in Ireland or not? Um, yeah, okay. Or, or, okay. Or, or at least it was anyway. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's as common as it was then, uh-huh. because when I when I was growing up, a little bit later, it became popular, like to go away on budget holiday, b- budget flights, budget airlines. Yeah, because it became. M- um, more um, affordable yeah, flying. But mm. prior to that, in the 90s, um, camping was quite popular. Definitely for my family. I forget you we much did it all than me. <laughs> About a decade's difference, I forget. Thank you. It's <laughs> always, always great to talk with you. <laughs> with old people, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me feel better. Mm-hmm. Um, so we went, actually we've been in England camping. I, I myself was in the Republic of Ireland, Scotland. I've been in France camping a couple of times, center of France and in the south of France. Mm-hmm. 
Um, I don't know if it's, it's not something that I automatically would choose now, uh -huh. but I have happy memories of it. Okay, good. And, um, there was never, I mean, I wasn't the one cooking the food, so I don't know if there were any, it was awkward or mm. difficult, but um, I don't think we had any, usually we, we, came, we stayed in, I mean, almost always, if not always, we stayed in campsites specific yeah. for camping. Yep. Um, That's also, it's very popular in South Africa too. Yeah. yeah. And so it wasn't, it was, all the facilities were there, like showers, toilets and everything. I mean, you might have had to, we had barbecue, I think we had a barbecue. Mm -hmm. uh, and then that's how we cooked food. Yeah. And I guess it was so just nice. food that you could barbecue. Yeah. So you're limited a bit, you know, but um, I mean, I just ate it and enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't a problem for Good. me. Uh, visiting a theme park. Love it. Any, any of those in South Africa? Hmm, there is one in Cape Town actually, but when I looked last time, mm -hmm. it seems as if it is going to be closed down. I don't know if it's, okay. it's quite expensive for South Africans. Okay. Um, entrance fees and yeah. the cost of the rides. It's quite expensive for South African holiday goers, obviously not for international people yeah. buying in dollars and euros and pounds mm -hmm. but when you're in Cape Town there are millions of other things to see so people right. tend to rather go hiking up Table Mountain or yeah. take the cable car up Table Mountain or walk on Lion's Head or walk on the beach so the theme park thing in South Africa cool. yeah. mm, not okay. so much but when okay. I was in St. Petersburg last year July in summer mm -hmm. I did spend one whole day in the theme park there, and I forget okay. the name now, Diva okay. Kostinov or something. Um, it uh, was magnificent. I love it. Yeah, I think it's the Russian name for island, is it? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. 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 Yep, it is. So I, I'm gonna. It's I'm not gonna try and remember that this second because I'll I'll mess it up. Ostrov. I mean, Ostrov. I want to. Ostrov. Something like that. Ostrov. Is it? Maybe someone will tell us if we're wrong. I'm yeah, sure. I'm sure. If you know. So right below, if you know, I'm sure someone knows uh, the theme park. It's, name. It is fantastic. There's yeah. one ride which um, acceler accelerates from zero to 100 in two seconds. Mm -hmm. it's Kilometers per hour. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. it is mind blowing. It <laughs> is mind blowing. It's is that, fantastic. Is that healthy? <laughs> so I don't care. I was on it five times. <laughs> it was magnificent. I. Um, I've been, when I was 12, I was in Euro Disney, uh, France, mm -hmm. Paris. Mm -hmm. um, I, I felt a little bit old for most things. Cause, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, I mean, Disney. Some rides are small. At that, at that time, at that time, it wasn't connected. I mean, Disney didn't own Marvel. They didn't own, what else do they own? Lots of things now. Yeah. yeah. So it wasn't as much of a story everywhere. Yeah. yeah. And it was more for younger kids. And yeah. I was, I was 12, but even though, uh, I was, I felt a little bit old. I still enjoyed some of the bigger rides, you know, yeah. like Space Mountain. I was like, come yeah. on, dad. And my dad was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I enjoy the things with speed. So the roller coasters, um, I, I enjoy that. Even yeah. driving, I yeah. enjoy acceleration uh -huh. and speed. So for me, <laughs> take me to a theme park. Do you have a driver? Anytime. Place? I do. Yeah. I do drive in Russia, although mm -hmm. sometimes. You drive it's a, here? Yes, yeah. I do. Yeah, I, I did. I, I do enjoy it. Um, wow. I, the Russian drivers are pretty much like the South African right. drivers, so just the okay. wrong side of the road for me. Yeah, but because I'm yeah in the UK, we also drive on the left. Yeah. Exactly, but yeah. yeah, I love it. I love. I have always loved driving. I think my mm -hmm. love for theme parks mm -hmm. come from the speed. My love for okay. speed. So that feel adrenaline. The, yes, that sonic. adrenaline rush when you. <laughs> you I feel the need. The need, need for, for speed. speed. There we okay. go. I. Um, I li I also like I I I'm not saying that I like speed when I'm in a car. I don't I don't. Uh, but I do like I was in Alton Towers. Sam, you're younger than me. You should know. Stop, you should I know. Stop like these I'm things. kind of a grand, I guess. <laughs> when it comes to cars, I, I really like to just I don't know, I'm I, I've got past the stage or the phase where speed and I never was like speed freak or anything, mm -hmm. but I've got very sensible when it comes to driving. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't drive here. But when I drive, I drive in Northern Ireland and I I like to think I'm very sensible. Uh -huh. I, dr I did a lot of driving. Uh, I've driven many hundreds of thousands of kilometers actually in yeah. my life. I, I, I drove to university from 
a, a small town very far away. So mm. I think in my studying years alone, I drove 150,000 kilometers. So mm. okay. I love driving. I'm yeah. good at driving and yeah. that speed. So I did some yeah. strange, but are crazy they... things when I was young. I have become yeah. more sensible. Yeah, yeah. Hence, but I go to the theme park now to I, get the speed. Right, right. And, and you know, my, by education, I'm an engineer. Uh-huh. And actually, when I was young, I mean, <laughs> I sound when you like, were young. <laughs> when I was younger, right? I sound like a granda. But I now look at the theme park rides and think, what can go wrong? What can go wrong? Because a, a big part of engineers' education is not just the, the physical, physics and uh-huh. um, loads and bearing, you know, um, bending moments mm-hmm. and all these uh calculations but it's also health and safety mm-hmm. <laughs> and i look at these and i think well yes it's probably engineered very well but what but, what could but. what has gone wrong <laughs> or what mistake has someone That's part made of the thrill of getting on that ride you think i oh, could die my something yeah. could go wrong but i i remember being in alton towers it's very it's pretty popular i think in england it's the the only theme park that i know mm-hmm. of in the uk and lots and lots of rides there. And I remember going on like the same three or four rides mm-hmm. like over and over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I do the same thing. I find yeah. the one with the biggest, which gives me the biggest rush, mm-hmm. adrenaline rush. Mm-hmm. And I just go, mm-hmm. go again, on, and again, again and again and again. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. theme parks for me, absolutely. We love, we love to. Yeah. So that I guess that's a winner for us. For me, definitely. Adventure trips. Like no. whitewater rafting, no. climbing mountain. No, no, mountain no. Climbing. Nothing. No, unfortunately, again, I maybe that maybe something like whitewater rafting I haven't tried. Maybe the adrenaline rush there would be good, but I am quite nervous around water. Okay, I only okay. learned to oh, swim yes. very late. Right. Okay. So for me, water is still quite scary, yeah. and the idea that this boat can capsize and I can yeah. be stuck—you got a million I different don't want to problems. My physics. Yeah. Um, education yeah. starts kicking in about forces, right. uh, mm, yeah, you know, yeah. and the fact that how long can I hold my breath underwater? Probably right. when I'm panic, well, panicked five seconds, and yeah, you know. yeah, fair enough. I have never done it. Um, I've done a little bit of uh, rafts and canoes mm-hmm. or kayaks. Yeah, and the things, slower version very, of that. But very gentle situations. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, outdoor activities, but nothing too serious. Mm. But okay. I, I would love. You know what I'd love to do, mm. and it's not really a summer specifically summer but paragliding i would love oh, to you should that. go to cape town because they paraglide from lion's head which mm-hmm. is one which is part of the table mountain range and mm-hmm. they paraglide especially in summer it's fantastic the people paraglide o- yeah. over the city and they yeah. land on the beach it's yeah. fantastic i believe i can fly you know it's uh, well, <laughs> what appeals to me is the idea that you're it's basically like a bird. You have no yeah, engine. Free, there's no engine. So it's free. It's almost free flight. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost as close as humans can get to. Yeah. Free flight. Yeah. Um, and you know, it's all open and just yeah, you're kind of in control and ah, mm-hmm. oh, it's fantastic. Barbecues. I'm South African. Don't forget. And it is. We've talked uh, about this. We've so spoken way. about this. I, yes. So I'll guys, you, go back to I'll the South African you, podcast. I'll warn you. My memory is <laughs> atrocious. Yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. It's not my age. So I, I can tell you here. It's always bad. No, always I can, even bad. here. When so I'm very happy it's summer now because it means my Russian mom. Yeah, mm-hmm. I have a fantastic Russian mama here. Mm-hmm. Uh, she learned that I can do barbecue. Or mm-hmm. shashlik or mm-hmm. braai in, in South African oh, language. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that's right. Every time we go to Dacha, mm-hmm. Reino, <laughs> shashlik. So I, it, it's yeah. it's a very, very popular thing for South what, Africans and I actually do enjoy it. What do you tend to braai here? Or shashlik? Yeah. Shashlik. shashlik. <laughs> that's a verb. Um, mostly pork or chicken. Yeah. Um, I have made great hamburgers on, yeah. the, on, on the barbecue. Right. Um, fish, but I'm not very fond of fish and vegetables. Yeah. Of course, you can yeah. you can put vegetables on the barbecue oh, yeah. and make it. It's, it's I, a great taste. Nice sliced peppers or onions would be my favorite. Yes. Um, in the UK, it tends to be burgers. Oh, um, okay. Almost exclusively burgers and sausages for hot dogs. 
Ah, that's yes. that's the real mm-hmm. barbecue stuff that we do most most of the time. I mean, you can do other stuff, but if you're talking about the normal traditional barbecue, mm. burger, <clears throat> sausage. A true South African will tell you that you can barbecue anything. <laughs> if it if it can be eaten, you mm-hmm. can probably put it on the barbecue. Mm-hmm. So we cook oranges on the fire. We mm-hmm. you do potatoes. We do corn. You if you can think about it. I'm seafoods. Hungry. You're making you, me hungry. <laughs> so we had time for some shashlik then. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what's the winner so far as far as the best summer activity? <laughs> for me, probably traveling. Yeah. Um, which the city in, trip. Yeah, the, the city trip mm-hmm. and the I- I- exploring and the. Um, I love the fact that you you are. You don't have to rush from. A warm store out into the cold into something warm again you can yeah. take your time you can walk around the grass is green the trees are green mm-hmm. uh, so birds are singing the birds it's are singing nice breeze blowing so for me the I would say your hair what hair <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> that j- was nasty Sam you know I don't have that's, listen, that's, listen, that's unfriendly listen I, I'm, I'm joking and yeah you're getting you know, there but still <laughs> I, I'm bald too so it's not a problem no, I, I think for me great summer things barbecue um, um even having just a cold cola uh-huh. when you've walked and it's hot uh-huh. and cold cola with ice blocks of ice and a slice yeah. of lemon yeah things taste better in summer so i remember i enjoy a lot of things in summer i think i talked uh to ken about this but mm-hmm. i remember it was minus 35 and i went to a burger place mm-hmm. and i got a cold cola like with ice in it and it was <laughs> minus 35 outside and i had just come out of the cold because I felt I would, I needed to get out as if you were crazy. I, I'm sure. No, I didn't ask for it. It was ah, given that I was, given, okay. and I was struggling. What's the word for no ice? I mean, how do I say mm. no ice? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it, yeah, but in the summer, absolutely. And thinking again about ice cream, I'm starting to think about ice cream. What's your favorite <laughs> flavor? Hmm. So I can tell you where my favorite place is to eat ice cream in Russia. Hmm. I last year was my summer holiday. I went to Moscow and St. Petersburg. And mm-hmm. in Moscow, on the Red Square, that beautiful shopping center called Gum. Yeah. Been in it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They have Gum ice cream. Uh, so this bubble, little, bubble Gum. No, 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 not Bubble Gum, <laughs> but Gum ice cream. So right, right. there's this little shop. I, actually, there are quite a few of them in, in, uh, in and around there. Yeah. Where you buy your ice cream flavors either in a cup or and they had stracciatelli which is right. like vanilla ice cream with it's fine a, little it pieces very, of chocolate in it it sounds very italian italian yes right. so it's very it's vanilla with ch- fine fine pieces of chocolate in it right. and there it was yeah fan Fantastic. Yeah. Actually, my mouth is starting to water <laughs> thinking about this. It, it was really good, but I also yeah. enjoy plain vanilla ice cream. You're a vanilla man. I right? love vanilla ice cream. Caramel on top? If it's vanilla ice cream, no. Then with a rich, decadent, hot <laughs> decadent. chocolate sauce uh-huh. over it. That has to be decadent. Has to be decadent. It <laughs> has to be rich and it has to be hot and it has to be chocolate. Oh, so it sounds good. It sounds good. I like um, bubblegum ice cream. I mean, uh-huh. I mean, to be honest, strawberry is great. Uh, I like Irish cream. Uh-huh. I mean, I, I mean, caramel is great. But when I was growing up, bubble gum was one of uh-huh. my favorites. Um, Lots and, of and even if it, I liked those with this little screwball ice cream in Northern uh-huh. Ireland, and it was silly, really. But uh, there was this packaged well, and at the bottom there was this big piece of bubble gum like a big, you know, sphere of bubble gum. And it was, you know, it was just bubble gum. Mm-hmm. It wasn't even particularly great bubble gum. But the idea of having ice cream and then bubble gum, mm-hmm. it's like, yes, <laughs> I want that. Um, your happiest holiday memory will end on a high note. Oh, yeah. Or what was Actually, the quite a few. Place? Actually, quite a few. So, mm-hmm. um, my best friends live in Cape Town. Mm-hmm. And I, we we used to live. They used to live in Johannesburg. So I've known I've known them, especially the the one uh, person went to school with me. So yeah. we've known each other for thirty five years, close to. Yeah. 
And we've spent some great times together, but I had a holiday in Cape Town before I moved there. Yeah. With them. Right. And the weather was magnificent. Uh The days were beautiful. It was just, (laughs) the days were perfect. Yeah. Um, The skies were blue. The ocean was cool. Um, And we would spend late afternoon Mm -hmm. starting our barbecue. Yeah build the fire and let the coals burn and get to the right temperature open a bottle of red wine I'm there with you right now I can Fantastic. smell it you can smell the barbecue <laughs> and we would we would put some meat on the barbecue make some salads mm-hmm. and then just spend quality time with quality people yeah. I call them heart people people who are yeah. in your heart they not okay. just you don't just know them heart, they are essentially heart hearty they are yeah. who you are they right. are who you are and you are who yeah. they are. So yeah. I think probably that. And then I have to say that my summer holiday in Moscow last year was fantastic. Yeah. I loved St. Petersburg, yeah. but Moscow stole my heart. I, I yeah. really, for me, that was quite wow. a special holiday. Yeah, yeah. great. Um, Do you have a particularly special memory? Uh I do, or are you asking me? <laughs> Not can you remember? Do you I, have a specific I, or a particular holiday memory? I have a lot, you know. I, I mean, some of my uh, best holiday experiences were just with my parents mm-hmm. and a book. Fantastic. And, and that's it. And Portugal, I remember I was 19, I think, and a book. Mm-hmm. Uh, Moby Dick. Oh my goodness, okay, a classic. I, I know, I know, and it wasn't... Not just I a mean, book, a classic. It's, it's a chunk of a book. <laughs> yes. But I got into it, I had lots of time, and I really read it, and... I mean, the, Portugal was nice, but the book, I think... book was, was better. I don't know, yeah. <laughs> and and Star Wars, although it's not my most favorite, I'm, I'm not f- impressed with all of the films, but I had a Star Wars book on another holiday in a, in a caravan, and mm-hmm. I remember just really enjoying reading that book it's not I don't know if it, it's not specific to Star mm-hmm. Wars but I really enjoyed that mm-hmm. book um, other other times too it's about the place it was Australia I loved mm-hmm. and I was in Israel mm-hmm. and okay. unforgettable experience lots of history lots of really uh, interesting places um, for me it's a, I grew up reading the Bible so going to Israel was you know just being able to visualize mm-hmm. uh, what I'd been reading, still read about, very, you know, completely um, change your perspective because you, I had in my mind, I suppose it was all green like in the UK, you know. <laughs> and then when I go there, I realized, well, it's not quite like that. So mm-hmm. it changed my perspective, my viewpoint, but a uh, very interesting place. Uh, I was with a group that was quite safe. I mean, as far as that goes and really, really very different. Uh, from where anywhere I'd been before, and really, really good. Really Excellent. Good. So that was the crack about summer activities. Mm-hmm. We talked about some popular things to do. Gave what we like to do, which is city trips, right? Mm-hmm. Um, favorite ice cream flavors. Some of uh, the kind of food, barbecue or bry. Barbecue bry, seems right. a very popular thing um, for everyone, everywhere, yep. I guess. Yes. Russia. South Africa, Northern Ireland, doesn't matter. America. And we finally talked a little bit about our favorite uh, holiday memories. That's the crack about summer activity.